PVO squad. This is the type of stuff you want to see when you're dropping your car off. PBO schools it was your boy super sun and I am back again with another video as you could tell by the title and the thumbnail we got a little few giblets for the for tank and we're also going to be installing the six by nines I took out of star and put them in the caprice but first things first let's go ahead and show tank some love uh, so the only thing I've ever done to tank is uh, tinted the windows and I did the leveling kit for the front of the car from a uh, rough country but unfortunately that was it I still have more parts coming but as far as right now what we have in we have some chrome trim pieces and these are double-sided double-sided tape pretty much you see the chrome and what these will do these will pretty much grab on there just like that and also have a cover for the keyhole and since the buttons already silver we're going to leave that alone but yep this is exactly what it looked like just to add some chrome because you see it there nothing there beside the little button i thought about getting chrome on here too but i think that's too much so this is what it looks like before we put the chrome on and and this is what it looks like after nothing too much real subtle you could you could tell it's chrome it's a little shiny thing but we got to do that to all four of them and then on to the caprice oh yeah there we go baby all four sides are done and i also have the bow ties on the way so instead of the bow tie being gold i have the bow ties coming that are black this is the bow tie that goes on the steering wheel so i have to uh get that one off and install this one but also have the bow ties for the front coming in black and for the rear coming in black. I do believe that sides, uh, that bow tie is double sided tape, but the bow tie on the front, it's clipped on. I'll have to pop the hood and go from the inside to take that one off. But alrighty, let's go ahead and grab some. I got to get the car keys and grab the speakers and let's put them in and all in this video i'm uh in the oh shit it's a spire Alrighty, yeah uh spider almost got me but in this video i don't know what i'm doing yet or which one is coming first later this video i could either be installing the suspension parts upgrading the brakes to put the 26s on or i could be dropping the car off and getting all the music hooked up still unsure which one is going to come first so just make sure you stay to the end and subscribe to the youtube channel and turn on all post notifications so you get notified every time your boy posts a video all right peace all righty we got a problem uh pull the six by now the six by nine out and this isn't a regular just connector at all so unfortunately i'm not going to be able to install the six by nines but if i wanted to i would have to cut these splice them and just run them to the uh the six by nines in the house and whenever i do go to the music shop they'll just have to put connectors on them 
and plug them on. But let me go get the speaker so I can show you what I'm talking about. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. That's the connectors they'll have to install when put this on instead of them looking like that so all right hey at least i tried i'm gonna go ahead and put these back in but these will be the six by nines i'm using they're memphis uh i had no problems with them when i had them in star so why not just continue to run them yeah all righty well that was shortly lived <laughs> so let me install these back in hey i'll see you when i see you pvo squizzle it's about that time it's about that time headed to planet auto sport so they could install the adjustable trailing arms and we could put the 26s on after that of course after i do a few things but so far we moving in the right direction this is the type of stuff you want to see when you drop your car off to get work done yep my car is in good hands pvo squad this is the type of stuff you want to see when you dropping your car off. This is his personal 69 Camaro. Oh, look what he got on the list. Fox body, baby. Uh oh. I'm gonna see if he sell it to me. We got four Giados. Tell me those not super clean. Twenty four. Only on Forge. He also has his own brand of wheels. Let me see if I can find it. Look, more Forge Giannis. Got no spinning cap though. Those are 24s. Alrighty, this is one of his brands. Planet Autosport PAS, that's his logo. You got those. And then we have these ones. Three piece. Those are clean, I like those. And he said, ooh. Look at the engraving on these wheels. And then he said the wheels on his Camaro also are his brand. Man, look at the brakes on that thing. But yeah, guys, if you need, if you have an old school and you need things done to it in Stockton, California, uh, I'm gonna put his Instagram and photo. I'm gonna put his Instagram on the screen. Also, following with the link to his Instagram in the description below. So, alrighty, we drop the car off and we just wait for him to give us a call. He said it should be done later on today or the earliest tomorrow due to him being short staffed. But I know, I know the car's in good hands. So, I'll see you guys when we pick it up, PBO Squad. Peace. Alrighty, PBO Squad. Next time you guys see him, he gonna be riding with the QA1 rear trailing arms. And I'm so excited, because after that, we headed to the beach shop, baby. 
already PBL Squizzle. As y'all seen, we just dropped the car off to get the uh, the adjustable trailing arms installed. But I noticed something when I had put the, when I had mocked the 26s up, the IROX are five spoke, you see that? And you see everything like behind it, the wheel well, the brakes and everything. So y'all know where we at. We are at Lowe's. I am gonna get uh, spray paint to paint the wheel wells to cover all that up, make it black. And I'm also painting the calipers when I uh, change the brakes and everything. So let's go in here, grab this paint, and hey, I'll see you once we up. Alrighty, PVO squad, we got the paint for the wheel wells and the brake calipers. I'm not gonna show you guys what color I'm doing the brake calipers just yet, but believe me, it's gonna be bright enough to where it's y'all gonna see it chopping through the five spoke wheels all right so car should be done later on today or tomorrow so once we get the car back that's when i'm gonna do the uh the brake pads the rotors and everything and just get it ready so once i put the 26s on i don't have to take them off anymore because those things are heavy yeah so all right people squad i will see you when i see you peace Oh yeah, PBO squad, y'all know where it's at. Oh yeah. Look how centered the wheel is now. I don't know if I have, I should have took a before picture, but this wheel was sitting way forward, way more forward than it is now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. y'all can see it i can't see it huh i see the qa1 over there oh there it go qa1 baby oh, you see the red on top up there all right once i uh, jack the car up and everything we'll look at it and we'll go from there but from here gotta go pick the boys up from school get their haircuts and then we go finish tinkering with this car and by the oh snap by the end of this 26 is gonna be on here baby let's go and i might i know i took off the trim around the wheel wells but i might be able to actually put the trim back on without the wheels rubbing so we also go test fit that to see if i can because if i can i'm putting it back on but if i have to cut or do anything i'm gonna just i'm gonna just keep them off so Make sure you stay to the end of this video so you can see this big body, bubble body on 26s. All right, peace. Just driving this car with those uh, adjustable arms on it, the, the drive is smoother. You know how you put something, well, it's not little, let me not say that, but you know how you put something on the car and then immediately just, just start feeling the difference? Like you put on an air intake and just, oh, I feel the car's a lot faster. That's how I feel right now with the uh, trailing arms on. Like this, the ride is just so much smoother. It's crazy. <laughs> PVO Squizzle is officially the next day and it's time to get to it, baby. I got the car pulled in the driveway. First things first, it's time to lift this thing up, take the wheels off so I can spray the wheel wheels black and we go go from there. But man, I'm telling you, I can't wait to put the wheels on. I have something special coming for the wheels, so I can't put them on right now. Well, I, I, I still could put them on and do my adjustments or if I need to trim anything, do that. I still could do that, but physically I can't put the wheels on the car yet because I have, I'm having something custom made for the wheels and I just don't want to put the wheels on without that being on the car. So, but y'all see what I'm talking about later. It should be here. I want to say the end of next week. So, alrighty, let's go ahead, get the jack, get the jack stands and get the drill gun so I could take these bad boys off. Alrighty, PBL squad, I got the brake pad and rotor all covered up protection and this is pretty much what it looks like before and 
and this is the pass the driver's side and these are just befores because i want y'all to see the befores all right now this is what it looks like all right and this is oh got some runs there but you won't see it this is coat number one on the passenger side all righty and this is after the first coat on the driver's side i'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and then come back out here and spray it with coat number two and before i put the wheels on i'm gonna change out the the uh brake pads get new rotors also so don't think i'm gonna just be riding around on it's going to be pretty much stock, but it's not going to be 1994 stock or whenever the last time they changed these brake pads and rotors. So let this dry for a little bit and then I'll be back out here. Then I'm going to do the rear and we just we just go keep moving forward. If you made it this far in the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notifications so you get notified every time your boy posts a video, okay? And stay tuned because in the next video, it will be wheels and music, or it may be wheels first, and then it may be music, or it may be music and then wheels. I don't know. Y'all go figure it out when I figure it out. Y'all go see it when I see it. So with that being said, stay tuned and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Peace. Alrighty, PBL squad, now that the wheels are off, I know you see the QA1 lower and the QA1 upper. Y'all see it over there. Yup, let's go. Alrighty, so this is the driver well, well, before, and this is the well, well for the passenger side. Just showing you guys a quick little before and after, nothing too crazy. Oh, I know y'all see it. Uh, oh, QA1, baby. Go ahead, focus in. There you go. QA1 for the win. Sheesh. Alrighty, this is after coat number one of the driver Wilwa. Alrighty, and this is the first layer, first coat on the passenger side. And like I said, this is just a quick little cover up. Just so when I put the wheels on, you won't see all that ashiness behind it. I'm really paying attention to details. Ugh, when it comes to this, just due to when I do pull up to a car show, I want the car to look clean. I don't want the car to look just thrown together. I want the car to really be presentable. That's why uh i'm putting the wilbo trim back on if i could get it to work and fit without rubbing against the wheels or anything so hey i'm i'm getting to it i'm getting to it i'm getting my hands dirty yeah but this that's i got i got something big coming for that and i'm also going to be doing that because I, i'll explain that in a little later video but yeah so let this dry for a little bit and then come back out here, do another quick coat, make sure it's extra black, put the stock wheels back on and we gonna be done, baby. Peace. All right, PBL squad, let's go in this house, grab a 26 and put it on the rear. Let's see how much space I really do have after getting, those, uh, getting the trailing arms adjusted. PVO squizzle, we have come to the end of the video and hey, the wheel wells are looking good and I'm happy I did it. So now everything behind there is gonna look immaculate and you won't see all the little rust spots and all the little brown spots. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys for clicking on the video, subscribing to the YouTube channel, liking the video, getting in the comments, letting me get your feedback. Y'all know we going up. 
for the rest of the year. No slacking, all gas, no brake. So with that being said, I wanna say, I appreciate you guys more than you know. We go continue to grow and go. And you already know, baby, PVO is on the rise. And with that being said, I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch me. I'm out. Peace.